Hi guys, Alec here. Uh, I'm just going to be doing a little project to improve the management of some of these berries that I've got behind me. You can see here, all of these are a mixture of raspberries, blackberries and loganberries. The loganberries have had their day, picked a lot of them, eaten a lot of them. Blackberries are just coming into, into fruit, which is great. I've got some picking to be done over the next couple of months or so. But I want to manage these big tendrils that are coming up. It's fan they've had fantastic growth the last uh, this, this season. These tendrils here won't be bearing fruit this year, but they will next. But what I want to do is I want to support them a little better than they are at the moment. At the moment, they're simply being directed upwards by the wires that I've got, but I want to give them a little bit more support. So I'm going to be actually installing, I've got, you can see there that I've got a, a two meter star picket there that I'm going to be installing one this end, one the far end, and then getting some wire between each of those to actually then support those blackberry tendrils that are kind of hanging out, as you can see there. Let's go and have a quick look at those tendrils in a little more closely. So we're going to do a little bit of a tour of the of the berry patch. Uh, this is the berries here. Um, at down this end, they're pretty much exclusively loganberries, but I can actually see one blackberry poking its head out. Let's go and have a look at the blackberry. This here is a blackberry. Now, how do I know that? It's because it's got a very, very smooth uh, stalk kind of trunk. This here, very smooth. There's no prickles. There's no thorns. The blackberries that I have are all thornless blackberries. Therefore, that is a blackberry. So there's obviously a blackberry plant somewhere in that growth down there. Um, intermingled with all the other plants that are probably mostly loganberries at this end. But if I keep going, you can see I'm on a path here. If I keep going down the path. It's a little bit overgrown in the, in, from the berries. So I try and keep it under control as best as I can. You can see down here, these red berries here, they are blackberries and they will be ripening up soon. To be blackberries. I'll see if I can find some blackberries and we can have a look at those. But just in terms of the tendrils and the things that I want to support, it's these here. All of that is blackberries. And they've grown, you can see there's one up there that's grown, I don't know, three meters, four meters tall and it's bending over. I want to give all of those some support. So that they stay up high and actually then have about of a cascading or a kind of an arch effect over the path that's what i want to do now if i keep going down this path so i want to get rid of him who's right in front of me right here i don't want to bump into him every time i come down this path so i want him to go over my head if we keep going down whilst i'm looking out for black blackberries that are ready to pick can i see any not at the moment I've recently picked them so but you can see here that, that if I keep going this is I'm at head level at the moment I'm gonna hit these blackberries so every time I walk down here I hit these blackberries so what I want to do is just keep them that little bit higher ones just smack me in the face beautiful so that's the idea behind this project is I'm trying to get these when I mean, that one there is not too bad it's actually above my head but I still want to support it so that I can walk down the aisles, walk down the paths without any obstruction and have these blackberries sort of arching over my head as I go down the path. Now this job involves a little bit of steeple jacking. I'm going to use a ladder to get above those two meter star pickets. Wish me luck. Well, I reckon that one's in. Hope it's straight. I'll do the other one next. Let's got the posts in. 
got to put the wire on now and then manipulate the blackberry fronds, uh, branches, whatever you want to call them, so they're in the right spot. Let's see how we go. Now then, for those of you who have seen my asparagus bed video, what I was also mucking about with this wire, you know how much of a mess I normally make of wire. Let's see what kind of a job I can do with it today. If anybody's got a good idea about how I manage wire better, come on down. Always happy to learn. Got to get this horse tape off first. And then I'm going to try and get an appropriate amount of wire out without messing, getting it too tangled up. Let's see what I can get. Right, oh, now that's a bit, that's not going to work because that's not long enough. Stick that over there, start again. Have we got an end? We've got to start with getting an end, right? Do I see an end? No. Uh, oh yeah, I've got an end. Okay, right, let's see what we can do. Take my trusty clippers. Going all right at the moment. Cross fingers, touch wood. Should be all right to get, I think, enough wire out here without it tangling up too much, he says, having hit a tangle. There's the first tangle. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get through that. Let's see. No, it's tangled up. I'm going to cut that. Right, well, let's see how long this is going to uh, get to. I might need some more. I think, about, I think I probably will, but we'll see how we go. Perhaps this bit, plus that other bit, might get to the end. Let's have a go. We'll see. Of course, I forgot my clippers, didn't I? But that length of wire lasted, or it got to the end. So we're all right. Well, that's got one in. I can do another one now. Knew this would happen. One was all right. This one isn't. Uh, I tell you what, I'll do. I'm going to cut it off down here, and I'm going to assume that I've got enough from there. Right. There's my plan. That's the spare that I've got. Let's see if we can get it on the other side. Well, I've attached the wires now, both sides. I think it's working. It's working bit a bit, not quite as I wanted. I might have to give it some support somewhere in the middle, I think. But anyway, you've got to start. Let's take a little look down the aisle to see if it's any better. Okay, well, I think it's looking a little bit better. That, uh, that tendril, that uh, blackberry that we got first is not tied in, and I might have to just tie him in because he's not tall enough yet. But let's keep going down. I'm going to trim these these loganberries, these are all loganberries, are these bright green things here. Here are the blackberries. There's the 
there's the the towering blackberries that i'm trying to get a little bit under control and get out of my face and i think i've succeeded in doing that there's the wire as you can see that's actually just holding those branches up just a little and a little bit more effectively down here so if i just go down this path you can see there's a much more open space there and that's because these branches here are being held up by that wire there now it's still a little bit low for me i might have to better do a little bit of jiggery pokery and try and get it a little bit tighter or as i said maybe move it um, or support it in the middle somewhere here just want to get that wire perhaps six inches taller i think so i might have to give it some kind of support in the middle here so look i can walk through all the way through here it's not hitting my hat i can go all the way through which was actually the goal so i think i've achieved my goal but i think i can do it a little bit better with a little bit of more work so there's the overall uh berry bed which as i said is a mix of raspberries more down this end then loganberries and blackberries and you can see where the blackberries are because they're lovely and tall there that's not a bad project a little bit of tweaking still to do but uh, essentially done that's a good start okay guys now i've done a little bit more cleaning up let's take a walk through the berries to see how we've done i've actually tightened the wire up as well i'll show you how but i've also uh, put some berries up and wrapped them around that wire so some are just hanging over that wire and some are actually wrapped around it but as you can see i've got a nice clear path really clearish anyway clearer than before to walk through here in a nice arch which is pleasant to be able to go through so hopefully in next year i'll have berries to better pick from overhead so uh, let's just go around the corner and go back again so these raspberries need a bit of tying back here but they're a bit uh, more under control than before let's keep going through here but as you can see here this is much more controlled a lot clearer i can actually walk down here without getting scratched and all the rest of it there's a little bit more work to do but this is a lot better than it was before I'm very happy with that good little project so that's a good project to control those berries and as you saw on uh, on the video i put a little bit of berry picking to do that's okay we love our blackberries thanks for watching